Well, turning to the Colorado Senate race, it's highly contested here in Colorado. This past week, I spoke to Democratic candidate and former Colorado State House Speaker Andrew Romanoff. Romanoff is notably an outspoken progressive candidate. In the third part of our interview, I asked him what it's going to take to unite Democrat voters who may be a bit more moderate than him. How do you reach those Democrats um, who maybe don't identify as, as progressive as you? That's a big topic in the Democratic Party right now. Yeah, you bet. Look, so we've been having conversations all across the state, and I'm proud to have earned endorsements now from 375 county commissioners and mayors and school board members, city council members and legislators. Not all of them are progressive, not all of them even Democrats, but folks who know the work I've done in Colorado and want to make sure we have somebody who will fight for us. I think what most voters want to know more than anything is, are you willing to stand up to your own party when your conscience or your constituents or the Constitution demands it. I'm not running to do the bidding of the power brokers or party bosses in D.C. I'm running to represent the people of Colorado. To your point, Adrian, on the issues that matter, if you ask most people in this state, Democrat, Republican, Independent, don't you think we ought to make it possible for people to get the health care they need instead of making that coverage depend on your income or your zip code or your age or your job? I think most Americans, most Coloradans as well, would say yes. Romanoff faces former Colorado Governor John Hickenlooper in a primary on June 30th, and the two will meet in a statewide debate this Tuesday. That's at 6.30 p.m. and will be aired on NBC affiliates across the state. And the following night, June 10th at 6 p.m., a debate right here on KREX and CBS affiliates across the state. We have reached out to John Hickenlooper's campaign for an interview prior to the debates this week, but have not been able to schedule a time.